Will, Will Richmond, Richmond have two races in 2025? Richmond has had two races on the NASCAR Cup Series schedule since the Eisenhower administration. That's 1959 is when they started having two dates. Ten years before Stanley Cooper put a man on the moon, if you believe in that. It's also lasted 61 years longer than the Confederate States of America lasted, which of course had their capital in Richmond, which is why it was included in here. What I'm trying to say is here, Richmond's had two dates on the cup schedule for so long. At this point, you're like, it's never going to not have two dates. Well, 2025, it likely will only have one date. Jordan Bianchi from The Athletic went on the Teardown podcast, his podcast with Jeff Gluck, on Sunday night. Give it a listen. It's on Dirty Mo Radio. Find it wherever your podcasts are found. Also, you can find the Break Hard podcast wherever podcasts are found. Uh, now, recapping Richmond. Self Shameless plug right there for myself. But... Jordan went on the podcast and he said that sources within the industry are saying that if NASCAR needs a date for next year, which they more than likely will, that date will come from Richmond Raceway, meaning Richmond will lose one of its two dates. And honestly, I don't think anybody's going to be that distraught over it. Richmond hasn't had a good race in over a decade. Let me clarify. Richmond hasn't had an exciting race in over a decade. If you like strategy, the last few Richmond races have been okay. But even with stages, that kind of kills the strategy that we have. This past weekend at Richmond, we had great strategy in stage two, which was ruined by a caution, which is unfortunate. But we've also had great strategy with Kevin Harvick just a couple years ago, Denny Hamlin. You have good strategy, and unfortunately, sometimes TV is not the best at uh, relaying. That's the right word I'm looking for. Relaying that information to you in real time. And it's not a fault of the broadcast or the network or even the guys in the booth. At times, it's a little complex, and maybe trying to explain it on the fly to a casual fan isn't the easiest thing to do. Uh, you can argue that all of well, we're not talking about that. What we are talking about is Richmond possibly losing a date. Like I said, hasn't had a good race basically since 2014, when Gordon, Logano, Keselowski, and Matt Kenseth were going at it and slipping and sliding and kind of bouncing off of each other. That was a really good race. And before that, eh, probably like 2008, maybe. And before that, like you got to go back uh, a few more years. Richmond, during its heyday, when it was, quote, the action track, which is kind of an oxymoron now, considering there's no action at this track at all, as evidenced by the absolute barren grandstands. Everybody wants to make a big deal about Bristol not having fans in the stands. Bristol's crowd would have maxed out the capacity at Richmond on Sunday night. The Richmond crowd, I don't even know that would have filled a section at Bristol Motor Speedway. The, I mean, it was a very sparse crowd. And that's another reason why they're probably going to lose a date. Fans aren't interested in Richmond anymore. And I don't know if it's the sealer. I see a ton of people begging to have the sealer put back down back in the day, NASCAR, ISC, and Richmond. They sealed the racetrack basically every year, and it created for pretty good racing. And did that you know, have something to do with it? Maybe. Possibly. Certainly seemed to be a shift once we stopped sealing it to what we have now. And what we have now is just not very good at all. I, at all, at all. It, what we've been seeing has been bad. Uh, Honestly, if you want to take the Bernie Ecclestone idea of just having sprinklers on the track at all times and letting them run the wet weather tires, that worked out really well. That 30 laps was the best racing we've seen at Richmond in a very long time. So maybe you go to that. They won't, but maybe. So Richmond loses the date and you're now like, OK, where's that date going to go? Fair question, person that's not in this room with me. More than likely, NASCAR will need that date for an international date. And according to Jordan Bianchi, Mexico currently has the most momentum behind it to be NASCAR's expansion for the Cup Series internationally. Of course, the Xfinity Series has already gone to Mexico. They've already gone to Canada. And now they're going to work on getting the Cup Series down to Mexico, which makes a lot of sense that they were going to do it before Canada just because they have a Mexican driver who just won a race this year, assuming he stays in his ride for next year. We still wait to hear on that. Uh, it makes a lot of sense for him to be in that car uh, or for them to have a race in a Mexico if he's in the car. So if they do go to Mexico, they need that date. Where are they going to get that date from? Well, right now, NASCAR has two problems on their hand. If they're going to have a race in Southern California, like they talked about earlier this year, and it's going to be a points paying race, they have to come up with a date from that somewhere. And if they're going to have a race in Mexico, again, have to come up with a date from that somewhere. 
NASCAR does, of course, have a contract with the city of Chicago, which does give them outs. It's a three-year contract, but there's clauses in it where they could leave if they wanted to. That could possibly be a date for them. They also have Iowa that they just added to the 2024 schedule. It sold out immediately. I think it sold out before you could even buy tickets. Figure that one out, Ticketmaster. I'm sure everybody that's ever tried to buy concert tickets, like, yeah, we understand. So they have that date as well. They want to take that. More than likely won't because it sold out so fast. They'll likely be able to repeat that at least next year as well. And they also have a pretty decent partner in Hy-Vee helping them out there um, too. So where does this other date come from? It has to come from an ISC track, obviously more than likely. And it's going to come from Richmond. Richmond's dates are either going to go to Mexico, outsourcing to Mexico. Once again, I know everybody's going to be furious about it. First it was Whirlpool, then it was Richmond. Just always coming for something. Richmond losing its date to Mexico. Honestly, I don't think people are going to be that upset about it. The the Facebook crowd will be upset about it, but I don't think a lot of people generally will be. And you have to understand, like, it makes a lot of sense for NASCAR to go to Mexico. They're going to sell a ton of tickets. It's going to garner a ton of media attention. And it's closer than going to Los Angeles, mile-wise, from Mooresville. So there's that, or Concord, wherever you want to go from. So at the end of the day... It makes sense for them to go to Mexico. And if Richmond has to lose a date, again, nobody's really going to complain about that. Yeah, I see everybody being like, well, NASCAR can't afford to lose another short track. Richmond doesn't really race like a short track, if we're being completely honest. It's like calling Phoenix a short track. Phoenix is not a short track. Stop calling it a short track. Um, Iowa. I would argue Iowa's not a short track either. It's a mile, and it races too fast to be a short track. The fairgrounds is a short track. North Wilkes Road is a short track. Martinsville is a short track. Bristol is a short track. Go to those type of short tracks. Richmond, D-shaped oval, three-quarter mile, just doesn't do it for, for the cup cars anymore. and hasn't done it for a while. It's not even a Gen 7 cup car problem. It was really bad with the Gen 6 car there at the end as well. So losing the race to Mexico, while the road course package isn't that great, it does from a attention standpoint and from a sales standpoint makes a lot of sense to send it down there. What happens if the Los Angeles wants to come on the schedule and NASCAR needs to find two dates? That's an up-in-the-air thing. They're either going to have to take a date away from one of their other ISC tracks, which they're just not going to because most of them are pretty good as they are. They're not going to take a date away from Phoenix, more than likely. As bad as that race is, it sells out basically every single time NASCAR goes there. So credit to those people and their Stockholm Syndrome. They're not going to take a date away from Darlington. They could. That would probably be the next one on the chopping block, which would be really unfortunate. And then, of course, the Chicago Street Course exists, and they could maybe do something there. Kansas is not losing... Uh, one of its two dates. Homestead's not losing a date. Daytona's certainly not losing it. one of its two. Neither is Talladega. Martinsville's not losing one of its two either. Watkins Glen, certainly not. Michigan, no. So you have basically kind of coming down to Richmond loses the date. If NASCAR doesn't move on from Chicago for maybe a potential Southern California date, if it's a points paying date, then you have to look at something like a Darlington. But for now, Richmond losing one of its dates wouldn't be the worst thing for the sport right now. It certainly needs a bit of a reprieve. Everybody needs to just step back from Richmond for a while, take a breath, maybe try to figure out what's wrong with this car, figure out what's wrong with the racetrack. It's not the car. It's the racetrack is really what it comes down to. Uh, So I don't know if they need to make some sort of changes there, add some resin, bring a tire that races like Bristol, although I know some people hate that. Either way. Richmond likely losing a date in 2025, and I just don't think anyone's even going to pour one out for the old girl in Richmond. So let me know in the comments what you think about it. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.